Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Gat Talks. Today, we are going to be reviewing the N98 Smartwatch Fitness Tracker with the Metallic Band. Now, if you guys have not yet already, please subscribe to my channel to make sure you guys don't miss out on any reviews on the latest gadgets, electronics, and smartwatches as I will be providing you guys with new content regularly so be sure to check back and subscribe. And I will also be having my affiliate links in the video description below so if you guys do choose to purchase this watch after this video you guys can use my links below and I will earn a commission at no extra cost to you when you purchase through my links on eBay or Amazon for which I am an affiliate of. So, let's begin. This is the N98 Metal Band Smartwatch. This watch comes in either silicone band or metallic band, just like this one. And it comes with a variety of colors. This happens to be silver. And this is the package that it comes from. So it's actually a pretty nice package. This watch goes from anywhere between $40 to $60, depending on the website and the seller that you choose to get it from. Now, this watch package actually has a variety of, you know, the other variation of colors. This would be the other variation, and, you know, obviously we have this one over here. So, depending on how you like your bands, you might want to ch uh, look up the different variations. Now for a $40 smartwatch, this actually has a pretty nice package. Um, I'm not going to go too deeply into the package because I know that you know it only included the watch, the charging cable, and the instruction manual. So basically everything you need to know to plug and play this smartwatch. The apps that you need to also be uh, downloading for this smartwatch is all on the side on your uh, on your package right here. So all you need to do is you get out your phone and you scan one of these codes and you will have the app automatically downloaded to your phone. So without any hassle at all. Now let's go through the smartwatch itself. This is... So this one actually charges through a, a two-pin magnetic charger. This is the fitness sensor right here, so uh, for your fitness functions and tracking your fitness activities. Now, I would like to go through the home phase and start from there. Is this the home phase? So this looks like the home face. It just changed on me. I wonder how you can actually uh, change the home face here. So it's actually worth giving the instruction manual a read here. Because I assumed that I knew more about smartwatches before I decided to not read the instruction manual. So I might actually have some trouble with this. Uh, but this is the home face. It tells your time. It tells your date. And it has your fitness data right on the dial looks like your steps calories and your heart rate from there if you swipe right you can basically get into more details of your functions I want to go back to home and see uh, where I can go from there so right swipe from home, it looks like here you have your anti-loss feature. Pretty basic, essential though. You have your timer. I do like the fact that this is a touch screen, but it's not a very sensitive touch screen. I wonder how I can click on to each of these functions. So yes, I definitely do need to give this instruction manual a read. It looks like it's not functioning as what I would expect. It 
Let's at least see if we can get some fitness data just for uh, being sedentary while I'm sitting here. I usually have troubles uh, operating these uh, steel straps. I'm just so much more used to a silicone strap. Now, bear with me here. There you go. Let's see what this does now. So this is how it looks on your wrist. It's more of a lady's watch, it seems like. Because it feels small on my wrist. And it's not something I will wear, the, uh, wear out to, to match my clothes or, you know, to actually go out. It's a very, it's a very small watch here, as you can tell. So it's good for ladies. It's probably good for you too if you like a rectangular watch, squarish watch, not too big and you just want to take it for exercising, going to the gym or for a run. It's not a bad idea. Let's see if we can get some fitness data just by sitting here. I believe if... Let's see if we can get some reading here. Okay, so we could get some reading here. Nice. That's my blood pressure. That's my heart rate. Beats per minute. 86. I don't really know my heart, uh, my, my heart beats per minute and how accurate it could be because I never really compare with the real machine. But it looks like it's fluctuating quite a bit. So I'm not sure how accurate this is. I'm sure there's a way you can position your watch so it can be more accurate. 70 beats per minute. I suppose I would just take that answer for what it's worth right now. You do get a not uh, message notifications with this watch. Your sleep monitor. You could go into sports mode with this watch. So, you know, as I said earlier, do give this instruction manual a read. I tend to like skipping these instruction manuals because I think I can figure it out eventually just by playing around with it. But it does not seem like I can really figure it out right now on the fly within this video. So, if you guys do want, uh, do purchase this watch. Which I think it's a very nice watch in general, depending on how you like the shape and sizes of the watch. But it does not feel like a cheap watch for something that costs about $40 to $60. So if you guys do purchase this watch, do give the instruction manual a read. Don't be like me. And this will conclude my basic review of this watch. It's a nice watch with basic fitness functions. It looks like you can really just plug and play for the most part. Except you'll want to check out how to click into some of these functions more in detail. So if you guys do purchase this watch, you can use my affiliate links below. It will take you to eBay or Amazon. And I will earn a commission at no extra cost to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on the latest reviews. And I will see you guys in the next video.